The news came in the middle of the night, reaching most Australians as they woke. I knew the Queen was failing, but when I turned the television on and there was the headlines that the Queen had actually passed, so I just stood and cried. I, I really feel very bad. She has been Queen for such a long time. She was a beautiful, beautiful person. Very, very sad day. If somebody is as amazing as the Queen, you know, it, it's hard not to actually stop and pay, her, pay respects. Across the country, people left flowers and offered their condolences. Hopefully my daughter will remember when she's my age about the Queen. I want to be kings for her now. On each of her 16 visits to Australia, the eagerness to catch a glimpse of Queen Elizabeth never seemed to wane, from the middle of the city to the heart of the bush. Dad's job on that particular day was to make it nice and level so the Rolls Royce didn't lose, it, didn't lose its muffler. Australians celebrate the Queen in different ways. Um, this is Lizzie. I brought her down. Her full name's Elizabeth and she's a British Bulldog, so I might as well bring her down today. South Australia built an entire city named in the Queen's honour. I am delighted to find that Elizabeth has grown into such an attractive and thriving community. Her 1963 tour included a stop at its Holden factory. Like Elizabeth, Australia looks very different now to what it did then and is home to many people of different cultures with different views of the monarchy. But what many share is respect and admiration for the Queen. She's just got the most radiant smile. Like Among them, Canberra's Caitlin Figueredo, an entrepreneur celebrated as a Queen's young leader. She was just an absolute phenomenal and unparalleled female leader. And that's something that we cannot take for granted. She was actually like a boss, a boss woman. I acknowledge and I appreciate what she's been doing for all the years. All 70 of them as Queen of Australia. Emma Rebellato, ABC News.